I honestly want a six figure guy. Uh, is what I'm realizing. Okay. And ma'am, and that's my point. You ladies all feel like listen. You ladies all feel like you're the exception to the rule. And then when someone like myself comes along and gives you a a dose of reality, instead of just accepting it, it's like yeah, but yeah, but I'm special. You don't know any men on this level that are not your father that aren't related to you. That means you don't know. This How old is this? You dude? don't know where to go get them. You don't know what they want. 50. But you're still saying, "Pick me." They don't want mid thirty year old baby mamas. <laughs> I'm trying to be polite, <laughs> man, but they don't want those. Mm. Can I ask you a question. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> yes. Why is that so? <laughs> yeah, look, bitch, go ahead. What the fuck you got to say now? He <laughs> mad. Um, I swear to God. My from my point of view, I feel like I, I get what you're saying. They that they, they do have better options, but also those better options are younger girls. Those younger girls don't necessarily are necessarily twenty year olds are not necessarily attracted to forty five year olds. Um, Bullshit. I don't believe that. I'm 51 and I, and I can't beat them off with a stick. Why do you say that? Because younger women like older guys. That's a fact. And most younger guys aren't even... Most younger guys aren't ready to do... Okay, women mature faster than men. That's a known fact. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Most women, like a 25-year-old woman or something... A 40-year-old guy, hell yeah, she'll be attracted to because a 40-year-old guy is already established and a 40-year-old guy would like someone younger and in her prime, to be honest with you, and moldable. In her, is it in her prime or is it the moldable thing? That's it's more like a mix. I mean, yeah, really because a woman it's in really her... A really a woman in her prime is probably in her 30s. In her 30s. In the early 40s. 40s. So that's and a, but the a, most But a moldable, but moldable is a younger woman. So a lot of men that are established... And they work hard to become established. They're going to want to. See, this is my thing. This is why I do not agree with the narrative of waiting to get married. And this is why I agree with the narrative of getting married young. Because everyone is more moldable young. Well, it's that... not just women, men too. You think somebody wants to deal with a man who is in his 40s or 50s that is super stuck in his ways? You're stuck in your ways. You don't like nothing. <laughs> I'm you stuck in my ways? You do we want to talk about what we had to do to even get to this point? We're talking about the video. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's another one on you lies. No, younger <laughs> women are always younger women are attracted to older men. What are you talking about? That's a fact. So, though. can you see me? Yeah. Yes, I can. Everybody like a zaddy. Okay. So, do you feel like a woman <laughs> like me? Uh huh. <laughs> What would you rank yourself on a scale from one to ten? You uh, cannot use seven. Cause she ranked them eyelashes though. I rank though? myself. Look <laughs> at that motherfucker's shirt though. Um, my face when I wake up five. Oh, hold on, bitch. Wait a minute. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> hold on. She ranked herself a five. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who the fuck the? You know you don't deserve a nigga rich some money if you rank yourself a five. <laughs> I'm a 10. Man, I know that for a fact, Jack. I mean, she could have at least said eight and a half. Dog. A five? Hold on. But hold listen on, to what he on, say. Hold on, hold on. Listen to what he say, though. Five, five. Hold on, hold dress on. Size. Rewind that shit back. Can you rewind it? Your dress size. A three. Okay, sure. Okay, so that makes you, if you give yourself a five, that's average. Damn. Yeah. I mean, average, that's so, a failure. Average looking women. <laughs> it's a fucking failure. <laughs> high earning men. They tend to get average men. <laughs> he said, bitch, come down a little bit. So, um, did you, did you, I mean, you were five. Right you need there. to come get Stop a five. Stop right there. <laughs> stop right there. Breathe and digest. Breathe and digest. Breathe and digest. You're 35 years Breathe old. Them. And you Breathe can look around and see the world. She you don't, don't got nothing tend to bad. see he taking the wind from her. Men what? With average looking, she's not women. bad looking. She's not off rip. It's just if you do see them, they got them. <laughs> they got their average looking woman when they were both really. I would young like to see her without her without way her head. But a man earning the kind of money you're talking about does not go for an average looking woman. 
<laughs> I mean, my body is not average, so she's but like, your, well, so ma'am, she I like, nigga, I'm a butterface. Butterface, no. <laughs> she admitted to being a butterface. She don't have no self What are you about to say? I really just wanted some advice. I love your. Yeah, I'm giving you. I'm giving <laughs> like, you advice, bitch, I'm but you're not taking it. The I'm, advice is, ma'am, ma'am, ma ugly as fuck. Your average look. No, she's not, not ugly though. That she's ugly. I'm taking it in, but he's trying to get okay, her to be real. Okay, but you're realistic. not accepting the fact. I know that, I'm a ten, but I'm average. But I call myself average a ten. looking woman. I'm not gonna give myself a five. I'm crazy. Who gives average looking a five? woman who's yeah, old. That's a whole lot of issues, right average there. Average looking hold on, hold on. older woman with a thirteen-year-old son. Average looking woman with a thirteen-year-old son with a sketchy baby daddy. <laughs> Tyrone this gets worse is just showing every up time I say at the something. Of banquets. And now you're asking for a man time who's in the top time 10 time 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 time. average look, He said it gets worse. Yeah. The more I see Every time I check a box. It gets worse. Baby but no, father. honestly, truthfully, okay. um, uh, <laughs> this is a funny. bad step, a bad baby mother or a baby father can ruin a relationship. You were a good baby mom. I most definitely was. Yeah, that's why your ass right here. <laughs> Play <more. laughs> That's not what I'm here. <laughs> you don't qualify for one. She don't meet the minimum qualifications. <laughs> you're making, I, mean, I, I don't, I don't want to yeah, have to go there. The resume is not accepted, baby. But when you put in the, all these other factors... Why can't you just get <laughs> So see, this is the part that I don't right. like. Got because it. a lot of people made it seem like she was, he was saying to her because she's average that she won't ever be with anybody. What he was saying to her is why are you mm -hmm. looking for a man in the 10% ratio of income right. when there's 90% of other men mm -hmm. who will probably like you that are average just like you. We say this all the time. I say it doesn't make sense for a woman or a man working at McDonald's to want somebody with six figures. It just does not make <laughs> it's sense. It can happen, though. Your burger-flipping boyfriend is standing right by you. All right, but at the end of the day, what he's trying to get her to understand, you can be that burger-flipping chick, right? Mm -hmm. That's If she's a fucking 10, mm -hmm. all right. She's a burger flipping woman. You got two hundred. You making? I'm not even gonna say a millionaire. You making about two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. You comfortable? You can pretty much do what you want to do mm -hmm. in life. You don't need a woman to add to you as far as financial. Mm -hmm. You you're already established. Uh -huh. So if you find a burger chicken flipping chick from from like it's not my thing because I like an ambitious woman. Uh huh. But no, I like ambition in the world. I don't think you have lack of ambition just because you're working on um, flipping burgers. Right. So that's true too, because yeah. it can be a starting point for anybody. Yeah. So no disrespect. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're flipping burgers and you're a dime, and just like it could be a man, and because you got women out here that that motherfucker, it's a lot of men out here to be getting older cougars. For their pension as well. I think with the Uzi Vert said it in one of the motherfucking he songs. He sure did. That's one of my favorite like, songs. Get the crew. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Because you are damn, all these little young ass little niggas. They ain't getting my pension. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, um, <laughs> in order to fully submit, I have That's to feel like. Almost spit my wine. Well, then you're going to. Then you're going to drive. Oh! How about that? You're, let me just cut to the chase, man. Uh, you can feel like what you want to. But women like True. you die alone. True. They don't die alone. No, there are several women who <laughs> are lonely right you about now. About to make some women upset right now. I mean, but truth is true. There are a lot of women who are lonely right now because their ex, they don't even meet their expectations for a man. Mm. Like, how well, do you have such high expectations for somebody to be in your life and you're not even there? You know what I mean? Like. Because women not, has because women have been fed this Prince Charming story their whole life. Boaz. Disney Channel. Not even just Disney Channel. Fucking they're waiting on their Boaz. Fucking churches tell women that all the time. Wait on your Boaz. No, bitch. Just be, ah, be normal. You. Oh. Man can't save you. Well, goddamn. Church is meant to hold you down a lot of times. Straight up. Because you think you're better than the men that you qualify for. <gasps> the only reason, honestly, ma'am, 
that I can see a woman like yourself <laughs> really thinking you deserve God more because you damn, more, why you got to do more that money like than that, most people around you in North Carolina. She, oh but if man, your ass worked at the post office, she's not, not think ugly so like that. You ain't got to go. Do like men that. care about money? It depends on the man. And that's Some the reality. Do. We don't not men. Men don't not care men. about so, your yeah, money. Niggas do. Not but the kind men, of men that you want. You're going to be we established. We don't care about your money. Right. It ain't ours. Just, we care about the fact mm. that you oh. are older and you got kids. Damn, she about to go to church. And you're average. She about to just go get saved. She said what? <gasps> what? She got her head down. And the oh. showed you that. See, I couldn't do that to nobody, You don't have the man. kind of men that you want. Knocking on your door trying to find you. Damn, I said See, that shit. See, what we've done too. in this country, this world, is we've told women like that. yourself that. Damn, so it started you with bullets, huh? Fuck and you got a Prince Charming. She started with the church. Six foot, <laughs> uh, six stuck. feet tall. Yeah. In the church. Six figure income, jawline, and all this other kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm I'm sorry, she, I think she could definitely no. be happy with somebody. Most people get average people. Oh, especially oh, average that people. That woman is heavy business. And you're an average person. <laughs> I mean, oh, she makes it feel good. Well, well, she be good. She gonna find no, somebody. She, so she doesn't. She wants somebody on her financial yeah. level. That's she different. Six figures for the last three you years. Making it, you making it like she working okay. McDonald's or something. <gasps> but if I'm looking at you, but if I looked at nah, you, she, I took all you know what office, it is? She, all the eyelashes okay. and all the hair. What do you he look he, like? He low key kind of hating on her. I mean, I, look I like didn't know she was making three six like figures. We you, talking about McDonald's chicks and shit. No, she. No, she but right. what he's saying, what he's saying is, even still, because you're making six figures, it doesn't mean that um, somebody that's on your level wants you. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I will say about a lot of successful women. I've been around a lot of successful women. Um, it's hard to be with. A lot of times, it's hard to be. It ain't even about what she's trying to find. A lot of times it'd be hard to be with successful women because you got to figure out who wears the pants in the goddamn mm. house. And don't know, man, if mm. I'm going to be sparring every mm. fucking day, if I'm going to be fighting with mm. you every day, and eventually all that sparring and fighting leads to not fucking. Mm. So if I'm going to be sparring and fighting and not fucking, mm. then bitch, I'll go get me a young chick that I can mold. But these successful, uh, and I'm not saying all, but there are a lot of successful, independent women mm -hmm. that are single even though they want a man but the problem is when they get an actual man mm -hmm. and because they're so successful and mm -hmm. used to directing uh -huh. i'm still a man at the end of the day and i'm not trying to be above you but i'm still a man i think that's part of the whole problem with all of this is that everybody's jockeying for position and authority but you know the book. So the way of the superior man is a good book that talks about that. Mm -hmm. So the way of the superior man, it shows the man how sometimes men and women sometimes operate in their masculine and uh -huh. feminine. So like, so in that book, it, mm -hmm. it teaches you. So like, you you might have an independent woman that's strong, mm -hmm. but you go into the the uh, you go into like a not a feminine position, but you just kind of more little, of a docile state. More docile state. Because most women that are strong. And are they and have a man, docile they, man? Yeah, their man is not as uh, flamboyant, yeah. loud, or as aggressive as them. It's very rare that you find somebody with that same energy so that's together. What the, so that's what the book is talking about. Um, so it's talking about like, and it's, it's it goes into like a whole lot of shit. But I'm not talking like homosexuality. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying like it goes into if a man is a man. Mm -hmm. And he's not a homosexual. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to be with a woman that positions herself like a man. Yeah. Well, I mean, we talked about that before. Or, we were talking about big dick energy, yeah, yeah. little dick energy, <laughs> and how a lot of women and WAP energy. WAP energy. And we talked about how some women do operate in um, BD in it, BDE, yeah. and yeah, that's a, a turn off. A lot of women are walking around and, with big dick energy. And that's and a problem. Yeah, it is a turn off. And then a lot of there's a lot of men. Who are actually walking around with WAP energy? And it's like, <laughs> emotional ass men. I'm an emotional man, like, but I ain't got no WAP energy. Though. It's 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 actually yeah. You that so, ain't got no motherfucking sometimes you, me. I operate sometimes with BD energy, and sometimes you operate within 
some of that feminine when, when energy not too. Not going centipede. Just hit the I mean, but it's the truth. Hit the play button. <laughs> hit the play and that's button. when we're at the uh, most yeah, uh, at all. Because if you did, you wouldn't yes, have all that on. Because you don't. You, you want a man? No, you yes. don't. You don't look the same. Because if you what? did, you wouldn't have all that. <gasps> <on>. It's only <laughs> you need therapy. Oh, it's no. not mean. It's, she about to cry, body? dog. Or she taking, uh, trying to take uh, selfies and look at herself in the mirror. Right, like, somebody probably texting her like, "Bitch, this nigga carry you. Carry you gonna tell me you gonna be well, on the like radio station? Woman, but you don't, but and this is here. what this nigga said it to you? you so mean. I'm not being. Don't tell me I'm being mean. It's embarrassing. She done got everybody to look at the show. I get tired of you, bro. Telling me I'm being mean because you cannot handle a goddamn truth. You called my show on the day the train was supposed to be here. That's horrible, man. Like he did a dirty. That shit was true. Me that shit was true, truth, but he did her dirty. No, I, don't think he, I honestly don't think he did her dirty. I feel like he told the truth, and sometimes the truth hurts. Sometimes there's no easy way to say to somebody, like, like I understand that you have expectations, but your expectations are ruining your, your reality. I'll take that. She probably It's probably somebody in the mail room. I'll tell you another thing, though. That's a good point. Yeah, it could be in the mail room. But you can't take away, you can't say like successful men don't have like whatever, average, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, shit, I'm an average nigga, but whatever. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying is. Mm -hmm. You can't say successful men what? Sometimes you, sometimes they started out young. Mm -hmm. Like we started out young. Yeah, yeah. So anything that I have amassed over time, mm -hmm. outside of the seven years that we were separated, mm -hmm. and I really didn't amass shit. Oh, actually, I did. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. the house. Yeah, but what I'm but what I'm saying is, you saw me from the beginning. Right. So it's a difference if you growing with somebody. That's what I was saying. I, I believe I, this whole wait till. Um, you finish school, wait till you're in your career. It's like waiting until you're further, further, and further stuck in your ways. That you're used to being single. Mm -hmm. You're used to not being accountable to anybody. Right. You're still stuck in the whatever the chaos is that your natural family has presented you with. Mm -hmm. And then at 40, you're supposed to settle down and get married. It just doesn't make sense. But look at how many, look at how many um, of those marriages also end in divorce because look at the struggle you have to go through being married young. Just playing devil's advocate with you. No, I get that. We went through a lot being married young, but I feel like um, you can grow. You grow with each other mm -hmm. and you learn each other. That's why we're back together because a lot of this is the success that we're experiencing now. No one else could understand it because nobody went through our struggles in the beginning. Nobody yeah. felt all of the times where... The lights was off and all those things. So to be in this place right now where everything is on the up and up and we're in a cons consistently doing good, like to everybody, to some people, it might be like, this oh, is like just supposed doing to average. be. This is just normal. Yeah, That's but for us, it's go. like, this is an we accomplishment. We know where we came from. Yeah. Like, so Perhaps. to take our daughters to Atlanta for their birthday, like, it's and a it big and it's deal. Not a problem. Yeah, that's a big deal for us. So yeah. I think... um you miss out on, I guess, acknowledging your accomplishments when you met, meet somebody at the age where you're supposed to already have it together. That's a fact. I got you. I can take that. But I can only take that because of our experience. Because I'll tell you what, if you meet meeting someone at an older age, mm -hmm. they only know who you present. Exactly. Not who you... And you don't know anything about you no, going you gotta from learn a woman everything. to a man. You gotta learn. Right. And you taking energy from this relationship to that oh my. relationship. So. That's the other thing that but, I don't but, like. But if you can, but but you know, if you can handle that, mm -hmm. that's what you do. But that's the thing. But I see what you're saying, like starting young. But that's the thing too, is that when you marry older, um, it's like you bring in so many more relationships hmm. into your current marriage. Well, that's why when you get to a certain age, like if I was single right now, I'd just be like, Psh, whatever, I'm chilling. Literally, I would. No, you wouldn't. You would definitely get married again. <laughs> like you would. You definitely would. You're a lover, so you're no no doubt in my mind. You would be like fucking Elizabeth Taylor with like five divorces and shit. Like you, you, you would c consistently get married. And on that note. <laughs>
puts us at the 20 minute mark and that was perfect and this has been another episode of small sauce with divine purpose